So, I hope you've given it a try and you've managed to solve this interview question on your own. Even so, and even if not, let's do it together to make sure that you've done it right. So, our task is to make a swap between variable A and variable B without using any additional variables, without using some temp variable, all right? And to do so, there are several approaches that basically we can use. Each of them involves some math operations. Well, I mean, basically, how can we do anything without using math, right? And this solution simply involves some addition and subtraction operations, only the plus and minus operations, right? Something that you know how to do plus and minus, how to use addition and how to use subtraction. Subtraction. <laughs> and all that we are going to do here in this solution may seem to you at first glance like sort of a trick, okay? But that's not a trick. We just use math rules to make assumptions about the result of different operations. And with that being said, let's move on to our first step. But beforehand, we will keep track some reminder of what were the values of A and B before swapping. So basically, we will simply not get lost with what was the value of A and what was the value of B before the actual swapping, before we began all of this functionality. So we will say that initial A equals to 10 and initial B equals to 20. And now let's put in variable A the sum of what is already there, which is actually the A's value, which is 10, and add to it the value of B, which is 20. This means that after this first operation, this first addition, we will have inside of variable A the initial A value plus the initial B value, right? That's what we've done here. We just used the addition operation. So simply saying now variable A will have the value of 30 and variable B still remain unchanged, right? We didn't make any assignments to it yet. So it just remains with his value of 20, all right, it is the initial B. So to summarize the first step, what we've done so far, what we have now, our current status, okay, we know that in the variable A, we currently have both the initial A value and the initial B value. And also in variable B, we currently have the initial B value. Is that clear so far? This is the first step. I think it's pretty easy. We've just done some basic math operations and we are ready to move on. Oh, and just don't forget to update the value of A like we've written here below, which is 30 in this case. And now we are ready to move on to the second step, which is subtraction. So our goal is to put in variable B the actual previous, the actual initial uh, value of A and vice versa, right? And now we can easily get that just by using subtraction, we can say that B equals to A minus B. This can be viewed as the following, right? We know that A at this point, at this current point, it, uh, it's the initial A plus the initial B, we can see here on the left. And we just, instead of using A, we specify that this is the initial A plus initial B minus B, which B in this case currently is just the initial B. So if we make this subtraction, we will see that 10 plus 20 minus 20 equals to 10, right? So now B, B, the variable B, has the actual previous A value, the initial A value. We can see that B has the initial A value, which is 10. So that's the summary of the second step, of the second step, which is subtraction. And we see that the current status of A remains the same. It's initial A plus initial B, and B equals to initial A. So now we can see the third, we can take a look at the third step, which is also using a subtraction. So variable B at this point, already has the value it should have after the swap operation, right? It already has the initial A value. So we know that it's okay, B is looking pretty much good. We can say that we are in the right direction. But we do remember that our task is also that variable A will have the initial B value, right? And currently that is not the case yet. So our task 
is to remove, right, remove this initial A uh, from the sum of initial A plus initial B, which is inside of variable A, and to remain with just the initial B value. So for that, we are going to use the same step, pre pretty much the same step of using subtraction as you've seen in the second step. So you go like A equals to A minus B. So you just replace the value of A in this equation. You say that A equals to initial A plus initial B, which you can see that it's the actual value of A at this point, minus the initial A, which is the value of variable B. And now if you just put here uh, the real values that you can see in the reminder here on the bottom left part of this uh, slide, you can see that a equals to 10 plus 20 minus 10, which is a total of 20. So the initial a is being cancelled and the variable a remains only with the value of initial b, which is 20 in our example. And basically you can see that just by using these three steps, you've completed successfully the swap operation between two variables, right? You can see that First of all, the initial A value was 10 and the initial B value was 20. And now after the swap operation, after these three steps that you've done by using only addition and two subtractions, you've managed to swap the values between variable A and B. And it's not some sort of trick that works only for values 10 and 20. You can use it for any value, right? Because it's just like in math, we used here two variables, let's say X and Y, which were just the initial A and the initial B. We simply done some equations, some mathematical operations, and we've managed to solve this one on, on our own, right? So compare your results and what you've done so far with what I've done so far. Uh, there are also, as I've said previously, additional ways to solve this exercise by using uh, multiplication, division, bitwise operations, and so on. But we are going to stick with this solution because it's the easiest and I think that you can manage to solve it uh, on your interview questions and to let your interviewer see that you really know how and even that these sort of things can be done. I mean, sometimes in the pressure of your interview, uh, your interviewer may, may even ask you, is it even possible? And you're going to say, uh, I don't know, we always done it with the third variable. I don't know if it's even possible. And you may even answer, no, it's not possible. But you see that the that's not the answer, that the real answer that it can be done and it can be done in many ways. And one of them is very, very simple, just using addition and subtraction operations. So I hope that's clear, guys. You really are amazing. And I want to thank you for uh, joining this course, getting to this point, making this interview question. Don't forget to leave some feedback. Um, and hopefully I will see you in another videos like this one. And I wish you good luck on your interviews, on your exams and have a great day. Goodbye.